As Hurricane Irene barrels up the East Coast, leaving a path of destruction, there undoubtedly will be stories of average people battling the odds and doing something heroic, like the people in Indiana who rushed in and helped lift the stage after that stage collapsed a couple weeks ago, or Oscar winner Kate Winslet, who pulled Richard Branson's 90-year-old mother from a raging house fire. So are some people just born with a certain hero gene? Joining us now is psychologist and early show contributor, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. Doctor, good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. So, are they? Yes and no. Okay. There is a little bit of it that is nature, and there is some of it that is nurture. Interestingly, there's very little research done on the hero gene. There's a lot done on the evil side of the same coin, but there's very little done on whether or not you can be born this way. And the truth is, is that you are born with a predisposition to want to help, to maybe have a stronger moral compass to jump in and do. And at the same time, your environment is going to nurture that to happen. So you're going to be more encouraged to help other people, look at other people, not only at yourself. We, we, we call it the hero gene. Is there a more scientific way to refer to it? It's just, it's just it's a certain makeup. that. <laughs> it, it really is just a certain makeup. There is We haven't been able to pinpoint anything that makes someone more likely to do it than someone else. And are these, are, 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 these, are we talking about choices or an instinctual reaction? Oftentimes, it's going to be instinctual. I think there are certain people who are going to stop see what they can do, and maybe they're not going to run into the stage collapse, but they're going to do something on the outside. There are a lot of people who jump in and are the heroes. There are a lot of us that are these reluctant heroes. We want to help, we want to do something, but there is that moment of pause, and we're not sure which way to go. Do we fight or do we run? So we have to figure that part out, and if we can build people to go and run in, maybe we might get more help with from you work with You work with a lot of kids. Yep. i got an almost two-year-old now. Sure. Can we teach him to... To step up in situations like this? You can teach kids to be brave, right? We work to teach kids on how to face their fears within reason and how to tackle the things that make them nervous. We can also teach kids to be more focused on other people, less on themselves. If we can do that, they may then be more likely to help. We certainly don't want them to run into danger automatically. That's not going to be helpful either. Then we're going to have more victims. But we want them to be able to step up and see, what can I do? How can I help? Well, how can I make that happen? In general, if you're teaching kids to be more compassionate, sharing a little more, mm -hmm. Everything else that may translate into. Right. Teaching compassion, teaching some sort of altruism is going to help people want to jump in and be helpful to other people. And that's really at the core what a hero is. They're running, they're not thinking about themselves, they're not motivated for themselves, they're running in to see what they can do to make something better for someone else. Thanks for heroically getting up this morning. We appreciate it. It was fabulous to be here. Thanks. <laughs> Jen Hartstein, appreciate it.